let A equal to 3 by 3 the given matrix and we need to find P such that P inverse AP is diagonal matrix right it is a diagonal matrix so to find such P we need to find first the eigenvalues of A and then we need to find the corresponding eigenvectors and from these eigenvectors we get the matrix P right so let's start with the solution first we are going to find the eigenvalues for that writing the characteristic equation of A so that is the determinant of lambda I minus A is equal to 0 where I is the identity matrix the 3 by 3 identity matrix so lambda I gives this is lambda 0 0 0 lambda 0 0 0 lambda I hope it is very clear and now subtracting this matrix from this so this implies we are getting the determinant of okay lambda minus 1 and then minus 1 and then minus 2 then we have 1 lambda minus 2 then minus 1 then we have 0 minus 1 and lambda minus 3 to be equal to 0 calculating the determinant we get this to be equal to lambda minus 1 okay cross multiplying these two we get lambda minus 2 into lambda minus 3 minus minus 1 into minus 1 that is 1 so this is minus 1 then it is minus minus 1 into cross multiplying these two we get lambda minus 3 minus 0 whatever way you calculate the determinant just solve like that I solve like this so this is lambda minus 3 only and here I'm having plus 1 right that is 1 right so there is no need to write 1 then it is minus 2 into cross multiplying these two so we get minus 1 minus 0 that is minus 1 which becomes plus 2 to be equal to 0 and minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 so I'm having here lambda minus 1 very fine okay let's take lambda minus 1 common from these two terms so this is lambda minus 1 into lambda minus 2 into lambda minus 3 minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0 so these two cancelled out and we get lambda minus 1 into lambda minus 2 into lambda minus 3 to be equal to 0 that implies that implies the values of lambda are 1, 2, 3. So we are getting 3 eigenvalues. And now we are going to find the eigenvectors corresponding to these 3 eigenvalues. For finding the eigenvectors, we need to find the homogeneous equations that is lambda i minus a into the vector x equal to 0. So for eigenvalue, lambda equal to 1 we are going to find the eigenvector we have already found this matrix we have already calculated this and here I'm writing x1 x2 x3 because we are having the 3 by 3 matrix given to us and we have to write this matrix for lambda equal to 1 just substitute lambda equal to 1 in place of lambda we get 0 minus 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 right so the matrix is 0 minus 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 minus 1 and 0 minus 1 minus 2 writing the homogeneous equations from here 0 multiplied with x1 gives 0 plus minus 1 multiplied with x2 gives minus x2 plus 
minus 2 multiplied with x3 gives minus 2x3 and is equal to 0. So from here we get x2 plus 2x3 equals to 0 or x2 is equal to minus 2x3. Similarly, let's write the second homogeneous equation also. So that will be x1 minus x2 minus x3 equal to 0. x1 minus x2 minus x3 equal to 0. From here I get x1 to be sum of x2 and x3. This is your first equation. And now writing the third one. 0 minus x2 minus 2x3 equal to 0. So minus x2 minus 2x3 equal to 0. That is x2 plus 2x3 equals to 0 or x2 is equal to minus 2x3. The same. The same as this. Right. So we have got two relations one is this and the another is this on putting this value over here I get x1 in terms of x3 that is minus 2 x3 plus x3 that is equal to minus x3 right so I'm having the value of x1 I'm having the value of x2 for x3 equal to t where t belonging to the set of real numbers I get x1 to be equal to minus t and x2 to be equal to minus 2t and x3 is itself t for t belonging to the set of real numbers I'm getting all these values in terms of t right so writing the eigenvector for this so x1 is minus t x2 is minus 2t x3 is t itself when taking t outside I will be getting minus 1 minus 2 1 for t belonging to the set of real numbers right so I am using one eigenvector to be minus 1 minus 2 1 corresponding to eigenvalue lambda 1 equal to 1 very fine ok for if I take t to be equal to 1 we can have so many eigenvectors but here I have taken this eigenvector for t equal to 1. Right? t is belonging to the set of real numbers. You can also take this as x1 to be equal to 1, 2, minus 1. For the value of t to be equal to minus 1. Whatever eigenvector you want to take, you can take that. Let me take this x1 for t equal to minus 1. Similarly, let's find the another eigenvector for eigenvalue lambda 2 equal to 2 for that we need to write the homogeneous equation for that we need to write the homogeneous equations that is lambda i minus a x equal to 0 now here we need to put the eigenvalue 2 so now putting the another eigenvalue that is 2 in place of lambda and we get 2 minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 minus 2 then 1 0 minus 1 then 0 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 2 1 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 and writing here x1 x2 x3 equals to 0 0 0 the column vector and now writing the homogeneous equations. So first equation is x1 minus x2 minus 2x3 equal to 0. Second equation x1 minus x3 equal to 0. And third one minus x2 minus x3 equals to 0. From this equation we get x1 to be equal to x3. From this equation, we get x2 to be equal to minus x3. So, if I take x3 to be equal to t, where t belonging to the set of real numbers, we get x1 equal to t, x2 equal to minus t, 
and x3 is equal to itself t where t belonging to the set of real numbers let's write the eigenvector from this so I'm having x1 to be equal to t then minus t then t so it is t then minus t then t and if I take t outside I will be getting 1 minus 1 1 for t belonging to the set of real numbers and this time I'm going to take the eigenvector to be the same 1 minus 1 1 right for t equal to 1 and then we need to find the eigenvector corresponding to the third eigenvalue that is 3 and the homogeneous equations are lambda i minus a into x equal to 0 and now we need to put here the value lambda 3 equal to 3 so now putting here the value third eigenvalue that is 3 in place of lambda so we get 3 minus 1 that is 2 then minus 1 minus 2 then 1 1 minus 1 then 0 minus 1 0 right so now the matrix is 2 minus 1 minus 2 then 1 1 minus 1 then 0 minus 1 0 and writing here x1 x2 x3 and this is 0 0 0 writing the homogeneous from these we get first homogeneous to be 2x1 minus x2 minus 2x3 equal to 0 so 2x1 minus x2 minus 2x3 equal to 0 second homogeneous equation x1 plus x2 minus x3 so this is x1 plus x2 minus x3 equal to 0 and third one is minus x2 equal to 0 minus x2 equal to 0 means x2 equal to 0 if I put x2 equal to 0 in these two equations I get 2x1 minus 2x3 equal to 0 and x1 minus x3 equal to 0 both equations are same so from here we are getting the relation x1 minus x3 equal to 0 that is x1 equal to x3 so if I put x3 equal to t for t belonging to the set of real numbers I will be getting the value of x1 to be t and x2 is already 0 and we are having the value of x3 itself as t so let's write the eigenvector now so x1 x2 x3 equal to t 0 t right so this t 0 t so if I take t outside I will be getting 1 0 1 for t belonging to the set of real numbers and taking my third eigenvector to be equal to 1 0 1 for t equal to 1 please don't confuse with these x1 x2 and these vectors it is the name of the vector that is the third eigenvector these are the components right okay let me write this as the bigger one the bigger capital x right the third eigenvector so what are the eigenvectors we have got corresponding to the eigenvalues the first eigenvector we have got is 1 2 minus 1 the second eigenvector we have got 1 minus 1 1 and the third eigenvector we have got this 1 0 1 and now we are going to write the matrix P from these eigenvectors how to write the matrix P just write the first element of these vectors in row format and then the second elements 2 minus 1 0 and then the third ones the third elements right this is your matrix P let's check whether P inverse AP is diagonal or not is it a diagonal matrix or not it must be diagonal matrix right okay first finding the P inverse please find this yourself the P inverse comes out to be 
negative one half of the matrix minus one zero one minus two two plus two one minus two minus three and then multiply this p inverse with a and multiply further this with p you will be getting the diagonal matrix so such that p inverse a p this will come out to be one zero 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 two zero 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 three and is this the diagonal matrix yes because because all the entries in the main diagonal are non-zero and remaining all are zero right except the entries in the main diagonal so yes this is your this is the diagonal matrix so we have found such p such so we have found such p such that this matrix is your diagonal matrix okay thank you